Hello guys, this is Master Engineering presenting you today, the basic concepts of a two-stroke petrol engine. Let's get started. In two-stroke engines, all the four processes that are suction, compression, power stroke and exhaust are completed in two strokes of piston movement. In one revolution of crankshaft, the piston makes two strokes. Two-stroke petrol engines are generally used in scooters, mopeds etc. Here is a model of a two-stroke petrol engine. Let's have a look at its various components. This is the crank. This is the connecting rod. This is the piston inside the cylinder. Here is spark plug. This is carburetor. These are fins, outside the cylinder, for efficient heat transfer from the engine. Here are some important ports, which are to be noted. This is the inlet port, for suction of air-fuel mixture from the carburetor. Here is the transfer port. It connects the crankcase to the cylinder for transferring air-fuel mixture from crankcase to cylinder. Here is exhaust port. During the upward stroke of the piston, the gas in cylinder is compressed. At the same time the inlet port opens, which allows the fresh air fuel mixture to enter the crankcase. When the piston reaches the top dead center, spark is initiated and combustion takes place. Due to sudden rise of pressure, the piston moves downwards. This is called the power stroke. Towards the end of power stroke, the piston uncovers exhaust port, and burnt exhaust gases escape through the port. The transfer port then is uncovered immediately. The compressed charge from the crankcase flows into the cylinder and is deflected upwards by the hump provided on head of piston. In the meantime, some fresh air fuel mixture in the cylinder pushes burnt gases out of the cylinder. This process is called scavenging. Again the cycle continues by compressing the already available air fuel mixture in the cylinder. This is all about working of two-stroke petrol engine. Thank you for watching.